One thing that Cubase is able to do that we haven't really touched on yet is surround sound. And the way that that works is, of course, you need a proper surround system in order to be able to work with it. So if you're just working on a stereo setup, there's not much point in trying to work with surround. You need the actual physical speakers in order to be able to understand what's going on. But just to give you a very quick overview of it, the first thing you would do if you were going to set up a surround system is go into the devices menu here and then go into VST connections. And what you would do here is you would add a bus and you would tell it to be the kind of surround bus that you wanted based on the kind of hardware that you had. You can see there are lots of complicated things here, most of which you probably won't need to mess with. Uh, 5.1 is the most commonly used surround format, so I could add a bus like that. And then you would need to route your audio out of your interface accordingly. So here you can see these are the ins and outs of my recording interface. Now I don't really have enough to uh, really play with this properly, but if you had lots of outputs, then you could assign each one here to the relevant output for the left, right, center, and left and right surround channels as well. With that set up, if you go back into the mixer, you can see that your channels have now gained surround panners, which is quite interesting. Now, another way to add surround channels is simply to go to the project, add track, audio track, and again, rather than mono or stereo, which is what you might normally choose, choose a surround track. Now, these are quite interesting. You can do things like mix convert. So you can take a stereo channel and you can send it out to the various different parts of a surround bus rather than just using it as a stereo channel. Here you've got your master 5.1 output. If you double click on these panners here, you get controls for panning that channel differently. So it's not just left and right anymore. You can also actually pan it in all kinds of different directions. Surround though is something that you probably won't end up working with. If you do, you'll need the hardware, but it is fun to work with.